By default, the native JavaScript event object is passed as the first argument to the method that we define, unless we actively change this. Adding an event parameter to the method will thus give us access to this object, and we can output it to the console to see what it looks like. So I'll add a parameter here named event, and log it to the console, like so. Let's open the browser's console, and run the code. Note that you are free to choose the name of the parameter. Opening the browser's console and running the code will show a mouse event object after clicking the button. This is a native JavaScript object and has nothing to do with Vue.js. For other types of events, we would of course see different event objects being passed as the first argument. Perhaps you noticed that I did not add any parentheses after the method name in the template. You could do this, but then there is something to watch out for. Let's go ahead and do it and see what happens. So I'll add the parentheses here and run the code. So we still get the alert as before, but notice that we now see undefined being output in the console instead of a mouse event object as before. What just happened is that we changed from defining the method name to adding an expression, in this case, a method invocation. When we do this, Vue.js no longer passes the native JavaScript event object as an argument automatically, and that is why the method parameter is undefined. But what if we do want to access the event object within our method? Vue.js allows us to specify a special argument named $event which ensures that the native event object is passed as an argument at that particular position. Adding that between the parentheses should give us what we expect. So I can simply write dollar sign events here. And let's just clear the console, run the code again, and click the button. And indeed, we see the mouse event object being output once again. As I mentioned, we can determine in which position we want the event argument to be passed. Let's say that we want to pass a message for the alert as the first argument to the method and the event as the second argument. We can do this, as you would expect, by first adding another parameter to the method and then passing a string as an argument. So I'll just add a message parameter here and I will alert this message. And within the template, I can write a string here as the first argument and I'll just write hello world. With this, we still see the event object being output in the console and the alert now displays the message. Therefore, if you need to pass in your own arguments to a method, then you need to include parentheses in the expression and by doing so, you must use the dollar sign event argument if you want to access the native JavaScript event object. If you don't need any custom arguments, then you can just enter the name of the method and the event object will be passed as an argument by default, regardless of whether or not you use it. You could of course also define the method name with parentheses and optionally the dollar sign event argument if you prefer. I personally like always including the parentheses because it's a very explicit way of showing that we are indeed invoking a method, but that's just a personal preference and what you want to do is totally up to you.